Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if you're new. Hi, my name is Nikki and I post a variety of different types of videos on this channel. But I have kind of been on a hamster streak lately in terms of my content because a lot of you guys seem to really enjoy that content. And honestly, I just had like a bunch of ideas lately. I've been super motivated to just film hamster content, but don't worry, I will continue posting other types of content as well later. Most of you guys seem to be hamster watchers anyways, so this should be pretty good for you guys. Anyways though, today, as you guys can probably tell from the title, I am going to be making a hamster platform. Now, I know I say this in like every single one of my videos now, but I was so inspired by Pinterest I just go on there and I just find like a bunch of different like, pictures and I'm like dang that looks really cool so I'm gonna throw up on the screen some inspiration pictures that have really been inspiring me lately and that is why today I am going to be trying to make my own hamster platform and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do it as well without further ado let's get on to the video Okay, so the first step in making your hamster platform is gathering your materials. Here is everything that I'm going to be using to make my hamster platform. So for my platform, I got one of these plaques. It is just a wood plaque and it's one that you can paint or you can get these from Michaels. I'm not completely sure how much it was because I've had this for a while but it seems to be the perfect size for a hamster platform. Next thing you're gonna need to get is a wooden dowel. This one is actually quite long, so I'm going to be cutting this into lots of different pieces, but you can get these wooden dowels from Walmart for pretty cheap. Next, you are going to need to get at least four nails. This will be to connect the dowels to the plaque. You will also need to get a saw. This will be so that you can cut the dowels into pieces. You are also going to need to get a hammer. You will also need to get a tape measure and a sharpie. Okay, so the first thing that you wanna do with your materials is you're just gonna to wanna to take your dowel, which this one's pretty long, so I'm, I'm gonna actually be able to cut this into several different pieces. So I actually measured mine out using your measuring tape. Decide how long you want the dowel to be. I decided that I wanted mine to be about seven inches high, so this is gonna be how high you want your platform to be. It depends on how big your cage is, how tall it is, and just how tall you really want it to be. And then when you're done, you wanna mark it out. I actually marked this a little bit too low. I'm gonna mark it again right here with my Sharpie. So yeah, like I said, just take some sort of marker, it doesn't even have to be a Sharpie, and just mark exactly where you want to cut the dowel. And then you're gonna do that every time, so just move it up like this, and then make another mark for where you're going to cut. So as you guys can see, I have four little tick marks, and this is where I'm going to be cutting out my four dowels. So next you're gonna wanna take your dowel, as you can see mine is like that, and I put it on just this paper so that I doesn't start cutting into the concrete and then I'm going to be taking my saw. Make sure that you have parents permission if you think you might hurt yourself or if you're younger and just start sawing away at where you made the mark until you cut all the way through. you want to do is take your dowel and mark out with a sharpie where you want to put each one of your dowels so I just kind of was placing them around this corner so just about there so that you know where you're gonna try to put your nail in 
and put your dowel on. So the next thing that you're gonna do is just take a nail or all your nails and your hammer and just hammer into the wood. Excuse my absolute explosion here. Hey guys, so I just finished making the platform and I think it looks really, really good. The legs or the dowels, I guess, are longer than I thought. I think seven inches was actually a little longer than I would have liked, but I think that it'll be really, really good, especially if I make the bedding super high and I still want there to be a little platform for him. And I really hope that he likes it. I'm gonna put it in his cage tonight, probably, and see how he likes it. Hey guys, so it is later that same night and Rhino is just doing his thing running on the wheel. I have the platform here and I'm going to just find somewhere to put it in his cage. He has actually gotten way better about going through the tubes. As you can see, they're disconnected right now because I took off the top, but he's been doing really, really well with going through the tubes and he's been actually sleeping in this cage and this is more of his nighttime cage um, but he can go through whichever one you know once I put connect back the tubes but yeah anyways I'm gonna put this in the cage and see if Rhino likes it. Rhino doesn't seem to be super interested in his platform but this is what it ended up looking like. Sorry about the lighting. I really like how high it is even with the bedding it's really really tall um, which is nice and yeah And I'm definitely gonna have to put a bendy bridge or something off so he can climb onto it Otherwise, I'm not sure how he would have gone on. I really like it. It wasn't super hard to make it really didn't take that many materials and uh yeah, I think that this would also look really, really cute if you were to paint the board, especially if you did it like pink or green, but for now, I'm just gonna keep mine looking natural. Anyways, you guys, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me make this hamster platform. If you guys like to see more hamster DIY videos and more DIY videos in general, make sure to give this video a like and comment down below what your favorite hamster toy is. So anyways, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.